go. All right, what's up? I'm X Factor. This is Minecraft, and today I am in the new part of my world. This is the 1.3 update, so these are all 1.3 chunks, which means there's emeralds around, and you can already see there's a desert village over there. Uh, that building there, we do have a library villager, librarian villager, which is the best one to trade with to get emeralds, I think, from what I understand. Um, nothing really good in the jungle temple here. A couple, bit of gold, some iron, no emeralds anywhere. I got my nether portal down here though, which is awesome. And then I go down here, and this is what I have been working on recently. And we'll go down all these stairs until it sort of opens up on its own through a couple of ravines and into here. Hopefully I'll be able to open and seal all this up at some point. It'll be a long and slow process behind the scenes. It'll just keep happening. But here we have the first room I've completed, which is my storage room. I actually enjoy building these. Uh, I don't know, they just, they're fun. So we got all the crap in the original chest. I put that down temporarily, and I don't have a silk touch pick here to uh, recollect it. So I'll just leave it there for now. I do have a silk touch axe, though. So I've been getting lots of leaves. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd explain the nether portal, first of all, because that obviously didn't spawn there. I put it there. Uh, when I first built my nether portal, I spawned on just the other side of the ocean. And then while exploring, I saw the village. So I decided to come over here, saw the village, saw the jungle, decided to check it out. And then right on the edge was this temple, ruins, whatever. And then this is where I decided to set up camp. My original idea was to do a desert pyramid because I think it would have been cooler, more open to have an entrance in a pyramid rather than one of these. But you know what? I got tired of looking and building nether portals. I think I built five before I, not including the original one I built at the Blaze Farm, before I built this one here to get to that spot. I guess this is not an ideal spot in the nether, but it's pretty close to the mouth of my track. The original one I built to find that area was I think right here, and that just spawned me a ways away. I didn't really want to have to do the boat, uh, do a boat ride because it was in the ocean every time. So I think I'll just reroute this track past that portal and I can just bail. So yeah, uh, everything around the blaze farm though was all ocean. That island I spawned on, I was hoping I built one here too and this was ocean. Uh, anyway, the island I spawned on was all extreme hills and it would have been pretty cool to build on, but I was kind of hoping be able to use uh, the villagers in stuff and to be able to find a pyramid and jungle temples and all that fun stuff. So I decided to move it over to there and that's what I did. So I think I'll just head over to the blaze farm quickly and uh, look at that. Uh, probably throw some, kill some blaze, do an enchantment if I can. All right. Didn't mean to cut that mid thought. Um, I forgot that I had moved my Fraps record button and I pressed it. So I stopped recording mid thought there. Also under attack by two ghasts, which I'll probably just ignore. And go back and kill some blaze, get some experience, that kind of fun stuff, before going back and doing some excavating and cleaning out of that mine shaft area before I start building. That'll be a long and drawn out process, so I don't know. Don't know how long that'll take until a viable project will present itself. Anyway, let's get some potions together here. And this is actually 
lower down on the list than it should be is fixing this. Because right now this is the easiest way for... This is the best way for me to enchant things. Um, yeah. yeah, you can see I still have remnants of this portal here. I think four pieces. And there we go, the blaze. I'm just going to run over here for a second. I think I built one down here. Built one in here. You can see, I think I got all the obsidian from this. That was in the middle of the ocean. Uh, I think I went down there somewhere, which was in the middle of the ocean as well. And then I went through where this is, down those stairs, and yeah, that was in the middle of the ocean as well. And if I was building underground, solely underground, it would be fine, but I'd like to be above ground every once in a while, just because. So I decided to bail on that, and we have our current home. I, wanna, I do have to remember to bring some glass down here, because I want to replace this with glass. The iron bars, I think the blaze can see us through them, and then they get caught on this lip here and don't go down. So it does, it's not really effective. Now, don't know if that's going to be a whole lot of blaze. But, you know, what the hell. What have we got down here? Oh, I plugged it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good of a number of blaze. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's, uh... That's something worth fixing, I think. Really need to work on that. Figure out the best way to do it. Going to get one of these. Just to be safe. Oh, I enchanted the pigmen as well. You're welcome, pigmen. Not that they're not fire resistant already. Just gonna wait here for a minute. Let some more blaze spawn. They spawn really quick. Like that spawner will do, those two spawners will do like three or four in a go. I can hear all the pistons going already. Now, I have to plug this. Oh, yeah, I gotta really work on this. Now, I close that, close that. One, two, three. Clean up the rest of these guys. Should really do this with an iron sword, which I actually have. Yeah, that wasn't that much experience. I'm going to have to leave this for longer next time I want to use it. But, whatever. Let's do a level 25 enchantment. I don't really care. Let's do... What do I need? I guess an axe. Although I think I did one. I just don't have it here. Let's pop that there. What level's that? 26. Ugh. So that is 22. Yeah, what the hell. It's good enough for me. Uh, it's pretty easy to get back up. Anyway, uh, what do we have here? Iron shovel. So, power two, all right. Let's do an ax, I guess. Oh, there's my oak wood. I was looking for that while I was building. Let's do an axe. I just want some efficiency or unbreaking. Or both. Preferably both. Hmm. I got a lot of picks. I don't really use a shovel that often, so. And efficiency, unbreaking, and fortune. That's awesome. That's a good level to enchant a so yeah. Eight an axe at. Now do I have did I bring it? I did. See, did I leave anything else here that I want? That can't be bad. I don't have enough of that. That food. 
more food. Redstone, I think I'm okay. Blaze rods will be good. Because that I can put in furnaces. I um, think that's it. Don't have very many arrows, torches. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to make my way back to the cave and try to clean it out a little bit. And I will see you in a little while. Alright, might as well throw in an enchantment here before I get back to doing stuff. Level 30, efficiency unbreaking. Nice. It's like this, but without the fortune. So I'll be able to save that one. Alright, I've forgotten glass again. Yeah, I'm going to bring that. Oh well. Back to the cave. Alright, so as I make my way down here, I uh, might as well take out this iron because I'm going to need it. I don't have any stone to fill that back up, but I'll change it later. Put up some signs about my plans to remind myself. I'm going to build stairs, farm. I was going to build the farm down here, and that's why I cleared this out, but I decided to put this walk around up top, and I wanted to make it. I actually wasn't sure what I wanted to do back here. I think I was going to do possibly a brewing room. Yeah. But I put this walk around up here and I think it's pretty cool. I like being able to use the sideways logs. They look better than anything I tried. Just the oak logs because all the fences are oak. So there's no way. I don't imagine that changing. Although there was something I was... I had an idea actually about the recipe for sticks. If you could make uh hang on, let's get some wood. So I can explain this a little bit. So if we make some fence this is how we normally make fences, and it doesn't matter what kind of sticks you have, because sticks are sticks. And I don't think that should change. But what a fence is, is you get two for six sticks or one and a half planks of wood yields uh, two fences. But if they made it like this, I guess that's a shovel, isn't it? Like this, which is one, two, three for four planks, or for four fences, or even like that for that's four for six fences? I don't know. Something like that, I think, would... And then the only thing that would matter is fence gates. But it com you have to use... I think you have to come up with a way to do it with one proper wooden plank. Otherwise, you end up with what happens if you put a birch and a spruce, right? So I don't imagine that being a priority. Oh, I do have some iron. In terms of the development of the game, but... It'd be cool to have darker fences, or lighter fences, other than just nether brick. Now, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, uh, right here. i got to label these. Part of the reasons I had all the signs out. I'm going to sort of follow the same system as I had in my, uh, my previous storage room. Although I forgot to leave the corners. I forgot to leave a block in the corner for labeling. So I'll have to figure out a way to work around that. Now, block that back up for now, because I don't know what's around here. Actually, there is a spider dungeon under that room that I buried. I left the spawner there. That's why all the torches are there, actually. So, Because spiders were spawning in my room. Now, if we go up here... I have done some clearing out of the cave and placing of dirt. My original idea, again, was to sort of fill this in with villagers and houses, but it's sort of hilly, and I may keep moving it around. I think I'd like to use this more of a central hub for getting around to places and stuff. Like, I don't actually know what's around, so I want to leave it open and I'm gonna do this and if I do 
I don't want to do this. Not like that. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, can I do that? 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 And that? Like that. There we go. Where's this is the first grass block of the cave. Random capitals. That's what it is, and that should spread. Um, yeah, let's put that up now. I've done a lot of just general exploring around here and lighting stuff up. Like I haven't mined all the ores out or anything yet. Uh, not really high up on my priorities. Although it should be higher up. There we go. Already starting to spread. Now we can leave that. Um, I just really wanted to focus on getting everything back go going and I'll probably do the farm next. Again, I've I hate to just walk around and talk, but I don't know. Found this area up here where where did it go? Crap, I've forgotten where I went. Um apparently I stopped here. There we go. Found this up here, which is actually kinda cool. And it is nighttime. So, but this is all open to the, like I'm not actually that deep. So this is open and this is where we go in. There it is. But I figured I could, this is flatter than that area and it'd probably be easier to open up. Like I could make some TNT and blow this up and then cover this whole area with glass and make a dome. And then this would be my village and it would be a little farther away. But... I'd want it to be pretty sizable, and I think the best place for it is tucked away a bit. Whoa. So that's probably where I'll end up doing that. I may even like expand over to here, because this is sort of the same effect. I'm really liking the terrain generation actually right now. So yeah. but. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, oh. oh, man. Now, I think I'm going to end this here because I haven't actually really done anything productive. And I have little idea where I am. I think I'm back down here. And anyway, I'm going to put, do something I've been putting off for a while. Not really putting off, but just haven't gotten around to. I said I would do it in 1.3 and haven't done it. And that is Slay the Ender Dragon. So, I think it's about time to do that. And that'll take a while. It's not really exciting. It's just sort of boring and tedious. But I'm going to do it. So we can go to the end and kill Endermen. To get Endermen and get Ender Pearls and stuff like that. So, I will see you in a little bit. Or next time, I guess. If you've made it with me to the end, I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.